Hello. Um, I have struggled to find the motivation to film videos, but you know, thanks to Suki Box, who sent me two boxes today, when I got the package at my door, it was like they were put together like this. <laughs> And I was like, is this just one giant box? But no, it's two. Uh, sometimes that happens. Sometimes boxes get delayed or, I mean, I don't know. Uh, I'm not mad about it. I'm not upset. And for those of you who are like, I don't like unboxing videos or I don't, I'm not interested. I just want other videos. Sorry. Um, uh, my motivation to make videos for the last few years <laughs> has only been because of Spooky Box. <laughs> uh, but also, I don't know. I, I feel like, I feel like because there are two boxes, I'm going to open both of them and talk with you uh, at the same time. And I do feel like I do have may maybe a lot of thoughts, maybe a lot of things to talk about in this video. So I don't know, sit down, hang out with me, get a snack, I don't know, something to sip on, <laughs> whatever. Cause this might be, I don't know, Maybe, maybe it'll be long. Uh, no promises. But, um, I already forgot what I, where I was going with all of that. Uh, there's no brain. Um, but I just feel like I've been doing a lot of reflecting. And when I think about my 20s, when I did YouTube all the time, when I was doing my scary stories and I hung out with my friends and we did, uh, urban exploring and ghost stuff and paranormal stuff all the time like my that was my 20s my 20s was very hyper focused on like creating content and like telling scary stories and i put a lot of work into it even though to me i'm like eh, <laughs> could have been better but uh you know it was just really big an interesting season in my life and a lot of you loved it and a lot of you liked it and i do get questions and i actually got one recently on a video like if I still see like all the friends from before, the ghost friends, ghost friends, ghost mind friends, ghost paranormal people that I would do videos with all the time. And you know, I feel like, I don't know, like it was a great, it's like a, it was a season. It was like a season of my life that was great. And I'm on to the next season in my life. And back then, it was like, I just needed more, like, to fulfill me and to surround myself or just find people that I felt on the same wavelength with because I didn't feel it in my personal life a lot with who I lived with, you know? And so I always, I find that when you aren't getting fulfilled like that, like spiritually or emotionally or whatever you seek it out in like friendships or even online or whatever um much like you know i shared my paranormal experience um on this channel forever ago because i was like i can't be the only one to have experienced this one thing and i learned that i wasn't uh but i have learned um that as i've gotten older i'm now 35 I've learned in my 30s, like, I still enjoy making videos, and I still appreciate those of you who have stuck around. Uh, and I have vocalized numerous times that I don't, I never really wanted to be a famous YouTuber. I, sure, I could put all my effort into making a bunch of content and, uh, I don't know, gaining more views, getting more viewers, subscribers, whatever, but I've always just kind of liked to have a small community, like a small bubble of cool people. Um, because I feel like with such a wide audience, it doesn't mean that they're not all cool. I just, I don't know. I just, I like it when it just feels like a niche, just a, a little club that doesn't have to be so big. <laughs> uh, and so I have kind of maybe kind of been afraid of, of it getting bigger. And so I just kind of hold myself back so that I don't know maybe it's just maybe I feel intimidated by the possibility that oh I could create better content or do better or whatever and try really hard and maybe have like thousands and thousands of subscribers or whatever 
but I kind of feel intimidated by the thought of that. And I just kind of like, I don't know. I guess when you're younger, when you're, yeah, when you're younger, you're like, I want all the friends. And then when you get older, you're like, I just want two. <laughs> um, so I kind of feel like, you know, not that, I don't know, not that I have to like justify my life as to why I don't create content every week. I still get motivated and I still feel the urge and the need and the want to do like, cr like another series similar to like scary stories every week, but like creepy stories like I've mentioned b before, but I just don't know where to begin. I don't know what stories to do and I haven't um, heard anything or seen anything where I'm like, that's it. That's, that's what I talk about. So I guess like I still want to do it, but I haven't figured out where to start yet. Um, and I feel like I don't really have an excuse, a good excuse not to do videos every week. I just don't. Um, so, you know, we can all thank Spooky Box for keeping me alive on this channel. Well, not keeping me alive, well, I mean, they don't, they're not, they're not like my life support. I have to reward things. They keep this YouTube channel alive. <laughs> um, but yeah. I don't know. So that's my thoughts on that. And I feel like I shouldn't, I feel like I've started a lot of videos with like, sorry, I don't post more often. I'm like, I just need to stop that. I feel like you guys, either way, you're going to get excited whenever I post a video because it always happens. Someone's always like, oh my God, yeah, you posted another video. And then on the videos that, um, where I'm not doing a spooky box, they're like, oh my God, not a spooky box unboxing. Whoa. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, I'm, I'm gonna open the Stay Weird box first. Uh, oh, you know, okay, side note, side thought. I've, I've seen other YouTubers in the past, like they'll have like videos that they do and then they're always like, this episode is sponsored by whatever. And I'm like, you know, in a way, my YouTube is somewhat kind of sorta sponsored in a roundabout way. It's like, buy a spooky box and then I don't know. I'm also like, I honestly feel like kind of passionate about Spooky Box since I've been connected with Spooky Box since box number one. It's very, I, I reminisce over it. I, I have the bats hanging up from the first box, like on my wall. I keep them. Like I, I keep, I use so many things from Spooky Box all the time. And so when I, I, I reminisce over like the beginning and kind of go, I've seen them grow and I don't know if I've grown on this YouTube channel. I've grown myself, but it's kind of nice to like be a part of something for so long. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I don't know. And it keeps, I don't know, me relevant on here. Cause I'm sure if I didn't have Spooky Box, I mean, I don't know, maybe would I post more? I mean, I don't know, maybe. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I, I have some passion, passionate love for Spooky Box. Plus, honestly, lately, I've just been in a spooky Halloween inspired mood. I was like looking on Pinterest at Halloween stuff and right now I'm painting bats. <laughs> um, and so I just feel, I'm just like, maybe I should just paint a whole bunch of Halloween stuff and it'll be ready for fall for my Etsy and everything. So I don't know, we'll see. But I've just paint, I've been painting a bunch of bats. That's what I've been doing the last couple days. And maybe I'll paint skeleton hands and I don't know what else is Halloween. I mean, I know pumpkins, jack-o'-lanterns. Oh, I could do ghosts, little ghosts. Um, that would be really fun. Um, what else? I don't know. Um, I'm open to ideas. Anyway, let me open this uh, Stay Weird box. Is this, which, which one came first? Am I going backwards? No, I'm not. This is box number 84. 84. And this one's 85. I've been with Spooky Box for 85 boxes. For as long as 85 boxes. That's like 85 videos. Almost. I mean, some of them I've done too in a video before. 85. Sorry, I had to just take that in. We're getting close to 100. Wow. Ooh, it's so exciting. Um, okay, let's open this box. I don't know, I've said this before, but I save all of Spooky Boxes' boxes. Oh, and these. I save these. Because when I sell stuff, I, I like to recycle. I will recycle these boxes and use them for 
storage or things or sometimes I ship in these I just I recycle reuse I never buy new packing I should like when I sell stuff maybe I should make like a little disclaimer note when I sell stuff like in like I, that I put in the order that's like hey like sorry if your packaging on the outside isn't like beautiful but I use all recycled material. I don't know, is that weird? Or is that like kind of cool? Like if you were to buy something, you get a note in your box and it's like, thank you for your purchase. Like, don't mind the, I don't know. It's not, you know, I don't know. Don't mind the appearance or the packing, everything's recycled. Like, is that a neat, is that neat? Is that a nice thing to do? Is that neat? Is it neat? Um, oh, thank you. This is perfect because I'm feeling spooky. I'm feeling spooky and creppy. This is wonderful. This is amazing. This I needed this today. I needed two. I need two boxes for it's Halloween therapy for June. <laughs> I feel like this happens to me every year though. Come come summer, I'm like, okay, cool. I've seen the sun. That's neat. I want fall now. <laughs> it's what June second now. So thank you for the spooky. I, I like how these the cards. I know it's silly. Their cards are very smooth. They're really soft and they're really thick and I like them. Spookyboxclub.com. Oh, stay weird box number 84. Okay. I'm gonna leave that out so I can make sure I get all the things. Okay. This little baggie. What's in it? Oh my god, they're oracle cards. Looking for a quick answer to it niggling question. I've never heard or used the word niggling. Niggling? Niggling. Uh, would you rather leave it up to fate to decide if you really need that extra cup of coffee? Well, fret no longer. We've got you with your with our mysterious mystic oracle deck. Um, this is so cool. I was just messing around with some of my cards. I'm opening this now. However, I don't want to get up to get scissors, so we're just going to talk while I pick at this. I was messing around with cards yesterday with my mom and um, doing readings and stuff. However, I felt really tired and I wasn't pulling great cards because I feel like energy-wise, I was just like, eh. Um, but I have a nice little collection going of like cards, but I, I don't feel like the need to like, I don't know, have a million different types of decks of tarot cards. I have three decks of tarot cards, different kinds, or different decks. Cool. Did it. Sorry. Um, and then I have one oracle deck, and I've got a few decks. A few decks. But I would, so funny, because yesterday when I saw my oracle deck, I have the spirit animal oracle deck, and I thought I just said dick. It probably sounds um, but I was thinking in my head, I should get another Oracle deck. Oh my god, <laughs> Spooky Box has delivered. Look at how pretty the backs of these are. Wow. Ooh, and they're, they're all little cauldrons. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, what is this one? My reply is no. Oh my god, this is so cool. These are so neat. They're all little cauldrons with little answers. Or just little whatever um, I don't know about you but when I do cards I my mom taught me about jumping cards because my mom likes to do Oracle cards and she'll she likes to throw them on the floor and whatever one f faces upward um, she calls that a jumping card or she's shuffling and a card just jumps out she's like that's the one that I need so if I were to shuffle these, or sometimes I do it where if a card is like obviously sticking out, I'm like, that one wants to be red. But I feel like these are more like yes or no cards. Like, should I make more videos for people? <laughs> like, should I give the people what they want and make more content? I just need to listen to the cards and figure it out. Yes, definitely. This card jumped out and said, yes, I need to make more content for you guys. Not kidding. This card jumped out. I wish it had gone wrong film. But I'm, you believe me. But that's hilarious. 
So it means I need to actually buckle down and just do, I just need to not wait until I find something. I just need to look for something creepy and just talk about it or even just do weekly videos about whatever. The cards told me I need to. I don't know, maybe I should, I don't know, do a video where I show you guys all my cards and stuff. I don't know, would you like that? Would you, would you like that? And I like that it comes with a little bag. This is perfect. I love this. This is amazing. And I needed this. This is great. This is why I like spooky box. I don't care what anyone says. Not that anyone says anything about anything. But anyway. Okay. This little box. <gasps> Ooh. No, that's neat. It's like the little headstone necklace thing. I like that. It's cool. And I know I've said it before. I like that spooky boxes stuff is always silver because I only wear silver. That's all I ever wear. Winged skull pendant. Hauntingly handmade jewelry. I like it. Okay. That little box. Oh, there's studs. That's so neat. The little skull. I'm not wearing earrings right now. So guess what we're gonna do? Let's see how these look. See, ow. I like poked myself. It's like that's great advertising. Great. <laughs> Ooh, fun. They're so reflective. So reflective. Let's put the other one in the other ear. That must be big. Well. Okay. Let's see. Do it without looking. There we go. There we go. Nice. I used to have my ears stretched. Do you guys remember? And then I just kind of, I think I got to a zero and my ears were just angry. They just weren't, I don't know. They were like, why? And then I kind of missed wearing just normal earrings. I don't know. And I got tired of like having to clean them all the time. Cause they, you know, the smell, if you know, you know, the smell, you know, when they, anyway. Um, and my, you know, this, I, have, I used to have both of my holes. Is there a different word I can use? I used to have both my holes stretched. That's just, it's not the direction I'm going. But like, I used to have my two piercings gauged, stretched. Um, and then the second hole like shrunk back to normal. Uh, the first, this first one, it's, it's okay. Honestly, um, within the last year, uh, I have been, um, you know, a little more health conscious and I've been consuming a lot of, um, collagen. I will say I have noticed a difference in my face by now. Cause I've been doing that since January. It wasn't even an intentional new year's resolution thing. It just kind of happened. I'm not a big New Year's resolution person. I just, I kind of, I can have goals starting any time of the year. I don't know. But it just kind of fell into my lap. And I can, by now, I can tell a difference in my face, like my skin, excuse me, and my ears, my earlobes. Like, especially with the first hole. Cause like, I used to be kind of self-conscious because it wasn't like, my ears weren't stretched or like when they, shrunk like they look like a cat butthole you know they just look like itty bitty like mouse buttholes <laughs> just really tiny like you wouldn't notice like you know the little butthole wrinkles <laughs> unless you're like really close but I used to always be kind of self-conscious and so I would always wear like earrings that would cover the whole like big earrings like this um but I will say within the last like couple months I have noticed that they're like shrinking a little bit more and I can only think that's because I've been just I consume collagen every day I put it in my coffee every day every morning and I also have a uh, uh, green matcha matcha green tea like powder with collagen and sometimes I like to treat myself to that to that what am I uh, okay here's this long bag oh is that a fan oh, oh. What is it? What does it say? Melancholy. My brain, it took a long time to compute that. 
I don't even know what I thought. I saw holy and I was like melancholy. <laughs> this reminds me of San Francisco. Uh, all these fans only because when I was, I don't know, I've been to San Francisco quite a bit, uh, but when I was little, um, younger, I think the last time I was there, I was like 14, 15, 14, I don't know, one of those in eighth grade. But, um, prior to that, I'd been a couple times before that. And, um, I just remember being younger and I was with my aunts and my cousin and I remember getting these in Chinatown, like the little, little fans, cause you know, you want them. So little souvenir shops in San Francisco. That's what this reminds me of. Oh, it's got a little dangle. What is the dangle for? Do you, are, do you hang it? Are you able to attach and you hang? Let me, okay, completed sentences, rewind. Do you attach something to it so you can hang it? That's my question. Um, I just don't recall, or maybe it's just that's just how it is. But that's cool. I like it. I don't have one anymore. I don't have one of these, and this one's cooler because it's black and purple. It's like my bedroom. Okay, that's that. Yeah, this is probably gonna be a long video. It's already 20 minutes. Yeah, you might want to go grab a snack. Pause. Go on. again. Um. <laughs> fortune telling crystal ball pin and you don't want to know that's what it says <laughs> you don't want to know you know sometimes doing readings with car tarot cards or you know whatever um I always feel like whenever you ask the cards like a yes or no question it always dances around the answer or it's like it's almost like in a roundabout way the cards are just like it's left up to interpretation or we can't give you a yes or no or like you don't want to know like you don't and I think this is hilarious it's like tell me my future you don't want to know don't don't, don't know don't want to oh here's some candy oh cool and chill cool and chill you know what okay this the little character I don't know if you can see the little character on it it reminded me of the nerds character the candy the nerds and um me and my brother used to eat those all the time all the time those and then whatever is it runs is that was that the candy that was like all fruit shaped like bananas and apples and oranges were those called runs i need to google that but i'm using my phone to film this so i can't um, oh, and a little print. This is very. Oh, I think I know someone who would love this. Um, my stepdaughter would love this. I feel like this is some. I feel like this looks like this would be her. I don't know. It's just got the little twinkle and the, the art, everything. Stay weird. Hmm. I like it. Okay, that is it for that box. Let's put everything back. But let's see. Uh, Melan melancholy hand fan um the oracle deck oh my god i'm so excited it's gonna go in my basket full of cards anyway uh i should do a card tour okay hold on <laughs> i'm getting ahead of myself uh screaming skull earrings skull pendant the enamel pin the art print and the candy you got everything okay i always do this favorite thing oracle deck Fuck you. uh oracle deck is my favorite I'm excited about that. That is amazing. And oh no, I dropped it. Um, but yeah, Oracle Deck is my favorite. Uh, but let's put everything back because I'm an organized person. That's just how I am. I don't know. I can't leave things spread out. I'm trying to think where I learned that. I don't know. I've been uh, listening to, well, I've listened to twice um, an audiobook called The Four Agreements. It has changed my life for the better. Um, it's, it's a lot of self-awareness. I mean, and being aware of other people and why they are the way that they are. Um, but I very, very much am inspired by the four agreements. So when I have habits or things that I do, I often go, where, where was I taught that? Where did I learn that from? Um, they use the term domestication a lot. Like we have, we are all domesticated by those we were raised by basically. And so I'm like, what, what part of that was my domestication? Um, and sometimes I have to tell my, ask my mom. <laughs> uh, 
Um, but anyway, that's a whole nother subject. So this box is Grimoire. Grimoire. Another one of these. I will end up picking that up because I feel guilty for throwing things on the floor. Um, where did I learn that? I don't know. Maybe I did it and my mom was like, don't do that. Uh, have you, have you guys, I don't know if I've talked about this before, but have you guys ever, is, okay. There's a restaurant in my hometown. I don't know if it's there anymore. I haven't been in a few years. I don't know. Could be gone, could still be there. I don't know. But there's a restaurant in my hometown in Redding, California and it was called Logan's Roadhouse and I only ever ate there once because this maybe I've eaten there twice mm. I ate there once and I went there for drinks once and I haven't been there since because I'm very uncomfortable in that environment one because when I ate there they give you peanuts as an appetizer and you can throw the peanut shells on the floor they tell you to and they sweep them up later I felt very, very wrong, and I did, it just did not make me feel comfortable to do that. It's almost like I would feel more comfortable if I just did it in a sneaky way, rather than being told to throw it on the floor. What is my brain? I just want to understand. <laughs> but it just made me feel really uncomfortable to purposely throw your trash on the floor. But they're, they're like, no, please. And I was just like, I can't. I mean, I did, and I just felt, it felt wrong. I don't know. And maybe, you know, a lot of people would probably, I, I, I'm like all, in, I'm like having, I'm just like having anxious thoughts. So I have to like mess with my hair. Just like other people might be like, oh my God, we get to be bad on purpose. Like we're allowed to um, throw things. It's like the restaurants that exists where you're allowed to like be rude to your server and then they can be rude to you. I couldn't do it. I There's no way I could survive in that atmosphere. I don't even think I could work in an environment where you, where you were allowed to be rude. Like I, if given permission, I can be very good at being rude in the nicest way possible to somebody where, I don't know, like, but not even rude, like putting somebody in their place in the nicest way possible. I don't think I can actually put somebody in their place in a very assertive, mean, confrontational way. I would just, I don't know, that's not how I'm wired. So to me, it's just very foreign and doesn't feel comfortable. It's kind of like being in Hawaii and it spontaneously rains in the middle of the day, but it's warm rain and you, when you're outside, you feel like you're taking a shower and there's just something that feels so wrong about it but it's also nice at the same time i don't know it's it's what i don't know i don't know i was made a certain way and oh but the 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 restaurant um i was uncomfortable because of throwing the stuff on the ground right well i I went there again for drinks. I never ate because I didn't want to be put in a situation where I would throw things on the floor. But I am uncomfortable when it comes to drinks because that was the first time I ever had a Long Island iced tea and I drank like not even half of it and I felt it and I felt, here's how I felt. I felt very fuzzy, like everything was fuzzy, like I was in a dream like an out-of-body experience and like I wasn't in control of myself and I didn't like that feeling and that I stopped drinking I actually gave my drink to my friend and they were just like you really don't want to drink the rest of this I'm like no no I'm I'm done I don't want any more of this <laughs> and I didn't even say why I don't even think I said because I was feeling a certain way I don't remember, but I remember having to drive home and I felt very fuzzy and everything was like weird. I wasn't like drunk. I didn't drink, I mean, I guess technically drinking and driving, but like I was probably like lightly buzzed. Like now I know, I know that that was me just being slightly buzzed. And like, I feel like anyone who's anyone who's just slightly buzzed is gonna drive okay. 
and but because that was foreign to me and I was new to alcohol well, I mean, new to alcohol um, it was scary and I like very much being in control of myself and my thoughts and my what I'm doing um, it's how I feel safe in an environment I have to feel in control of me and if I feel out of control I'm uncomfortable and I have an anxiety and I feel unsafe, which then it's like a cycle. It's like, if I feel unsafe, I have anxiety. And um, I, especially if I'm uncomfortable, it's just, huh. uh, how exhausting to be me in my, in here sometimes, <laughs> but not all the time. Um, but because I was new to all those feelings, I wasn't a fan. And I, I haven't had a Long Island iced tea ever since. But I also found out after when I talked to my friends, I'm like, here's how I felt. Like, this is how I felt in my head. After that. They're like, oh, well, that's when you keep drinking because it only gets better. And I was like, you mean I have to suffer through that to get to better? But what comes after that? Like, I just was like, that just didn't make any sense to me. But they were more experienced drinkers <laughs> and knew what to expect um and then they were like well the long island iced tea is the strongest strength that you can get there and then i was like what <laughs> so uh i now know that a long island iced tea is the strong one of the strongest drinks you can get um if you've ever heard of jungle juice that is also <laughs> another concoction that I will never partake in I've just steered away from it so I've been to gatherings I'm not gonna say parties because I don't party gatherings in the past with friends where there is a ice cooler but it is full of jungle juice and being like oh that sounds fun what's jungle juice and they go oh it's this and this and this and this and this all together it's really crazy it's the strongest drink it's you know all this stuff and i was like so it's stronger than a long island iced tea <laughs> well yeah and i'm like not interested then <laughs> so no and you know what as i've gotten older i've learned that i'm a lightweight so it doesn't take much for me to you know i'm a cheap date but also starting this last December, I actually just kind of stopped drinking alcohol at all. I just don't, I just don't anymore. Um, my stomach disagrees with alcohol. So I haven't had a drink at all. Not that I had a problem. I didn't have a problem before. It was just an occasional drinker. Like, oh, it's a birthday party. I'll have a drink. Oh, we're going to go out to dinner. Maybe I'll have a drink. You know, just occasional. Now, I'm just done. Um, not that I... I mean, I did drink a lot during the 2020. A lot of us did. Uh, and maybe that ruined me. Maybe... It's not like I got sick, but it was like, it's almost like my brain, the only thing that makes sense in my brain, which I'm sure this isn't it, but my brain goes, you know, maybe the alcohol just like ripped apart the lining of your stomach and you're just super sensitive to it. And then anything else that's acidic and certain spices, maybe it just fucked your tummy up. So that's what my brain tells me, even though I'm sure that's wrong. And I think it's wrong because I went to the doctor, like, when did I go to the doctor? earlier this year. I went to the doctor. February? January? February? Or March? I don't remember. Earlier this year. Sorry. Uh, and basically, they were like, you have too much acid in your stomach. You just, you need to calm it down. So, I just took Pepsi and I'm fine. Uh, and then I also started drinking um, apple cider vinegar water every day. I used to do that for years and never had tummy problems. And then I quit doing that, I think, a year ago. Cause I was just like, maybe I shouldn't do it anymore. I'm fine. And then now, like after going to the doctor, they're like, well, you take Pepsi, um, you know, when you eat certain things. And then, and then I was like, well, I used to drink apple cider vinegar water every day. And they were like, oh, maybe that helped you. <laughs> so I started doing that again recently. Anyway, I have yet to actually open this box. I told you I had a lot to talk about. So we're hanging out uh, for a long for a long time we hang out for a long time okay what was this called again <laughs>
glam, glam, no, not glam, grimoire. Not glamoire. That's the wrong holiday, the wrong season. Glamoire. That sounds like an evening, something evening and sparkly and prissy. Not that it's bad, it's just not my thing. Okay. Oh, it looks like a notebook with little labels. Wait. There's three little notebooks and three different labels. I like the labels. So you can have three different notebooks and you can label them whatever you want. Like my thoughts, my a laundry list of things to do, or like secrets. Secrets. I like it. I like to keep things like that by my desk. Oh, here's the little thingy. We'll check on that in a minute. Another thank you card. I like it. I always want to keep everything from Spooky Box. Like, not necessarily all the packaging, but even like the thank you cards. Is this a choker? Or is it a bookmark? It's a bookmark. Velvet Charm bookmark. You know, when I had to do jury duty. Ooh, I need to update you on jury duty. Um, when I had to do jury duty, I did bring some comic books to read while I was waiting the whole time. And I needed a bookmark, you know. Now I have one for my comic books, but... Um, it's cute. It's got a little bat. And it looks really soft. And I do like that everything with Spooky Box, the theme is like purple. Like lots of purple. I mean, purple isn't my favorite color, but it's my favorite for Halloween. Like, for... Honestly, do I even have a favorite color? I like black. <laughs> but I like black and purple together. I like black and purple together. I like black and blue together like i don't know black just makes everything better i feel black and green um I but i like that's everything with purple the spooky box i have now associated like their boxes i mean come on that it just purple is halloween now it's like purple orange and black perfect halloween oh that's what i need for paintings when i paint things for halloween like halloween like when i paint bats I need to do like plants and stuff in the background. Oh, too much spit. Um, like orange and purple. The backgrounds are already black. Oh, purple and orange. This is why I do videos. Oh, is this another one? Oh my God, speaking of purple and black, it's two bookmarks. One's a coffin and one's a bat. Purple and black, see, purple and black. Perfect for Halloween. And then my hair kind of looks orange. I did dye my hair. I lightened my hair. I didn't, I forgot to mention that. I, uh, I lightened the ends and I'm going to lighten the, this, the bottom parts more. So it's like blonde, blonde to like warm, orangey, whatever, copper to, you know, maybe some highlights. I just do it myself. Um, also when I was in jury duty or after jury duty. Okay. Rewind. Start over. Update on jury duty before I continue this box. Um, well, when was it? Maybe a few weeks ago. The human being uh, that was on trial that I had to serve jury duty for, whatever, um, he finally got sentenced to 35 years in prison, which is good. Um, but up until that point, mentally I haven't been okay like for the most part I would say 90% of the time uh, 85 80 85% of the time I'm okay I'm fine I've been fine but there will come moments where I'm thinking about it and I need to do things that like help my me and my environment so you know I've been painting I painted my kitchen kitchen cabinets white because I was like, I need contrast, I need light in my life. Like this whole trial changed me and my mental state. And like, I needed more light than dark in my world, I guess. Um, but I also had like a, I don't know, it was a time where it was like right after jury duty, after it was all done, it was like a month later. And I was like, it's like waiting and waiting on the sentencing. And they kept putting it off, putting it off trying to request a new trial and it's like oh my god don't put another 14 people through this 
like we don't need more people traumatized um and it just made me more and more mad that every time they kept delaying it they kept delaying it and finally the court date came because i had like the case number and i would look it up on because it's public record i would look it up and it just kept saying like a motion to like just new trial new trial like just delaying it finally i kept checking like the calendar for court dates and almost every time that a court date was set for him for his sentencing i would check it and it would go okay it's gonna happen at this day on at this time i could have gone but I've chosen not to go because the one day I actually went to go, it got delayed. And I was like, what's the point of continuing going when it's just, you show up and then the oh, no, it's got pushed back. Um, but every time I would, I would check it the morning of the day that it was supposed to happen. And then all of a sudden it was like, nope, not happening today. It's going to happen in two weeks or it's going to happen in a week. Well, finally, this one, I had checked it the day of, and it was like, I was like, oh, it's still happening. And then the next day after that, was it the next day? Or no, was it later that day? I think I checked it again, and it still was up. And I was like, okay. But then the courthouse um, posted on their Facebook update on this individual. Because they do it for everyone where there's, I don't know, cases and stuff like that. And they're like, update on this individual sentenced to 35 years in prison and i'm like oh, yeah. and since then i'm like i just feel like a release i felt a release um but like a month after that like during the waiting period i kind of went through a little like i need to do something and i did cut my own hair and i regret it i hate it i hate it. but you can't tell it doesn't, it's fine it grows um it's fine also, I'm trying to grow out this undercut, so it's fine because I have to let it grow anyway. So yeah, you see these short pieces? Oops. <laughs> but they're about as long, almost, maybe a little shorter than what's back here. And so I'm like, you know what? We're just gonna let this all grow. And when this, this will grow this at the same time that these shorter pieces grow. And by the time it's, you know, we're this, I'll just make it all even eventually. It's fine. In the meantime, I dye it and I know it looks, whatever. It is what it is. It's hair. It doesn't matter. Anyway, that's what happens when you go through. It's like, I just, I had a lot of feelings and I cut my hair about it. And then afterwards I was like, never again. Don't do that. I should have just given myself a trim or dyed it. Dyeing it would have been fine. But no. Uh, anyway. Oh, here's some like tape, that, that tape stuff. I don't remember what you call it. It's gonna say it. It's gonna say it wherever the note paper. Oh, it's on the board. Found it. Chunks of hair on my face. Um, well, I'll read that one. Okay, but anyway, there's this tape stuff. And it's got like little books. It reminds me of the Page Master. Do you guys remember the Page Master? I should watch that. It's been a while. Time to revisit. I don't, it's not a Disney movie though, is it? Ooh, this one's got moons. That's fun. Little moons. Little, oh, they're all moon phases. Me. Okay, and a little. It's like a. What is it? It's like a journal cover. Oh wait. Oh, do you put? Oh, do you put these in here? There's a piece of paper in here. It looks like a secret, and I want to know what the secret is. Let's find out. What's the secret? What is it? How to assemble your black notebook inserts inside the purple. Yep. So it's a black note, or it's a notebook. It's a cover for your black notebooks. Cool. Okay, let's just keep it all together because I'm organized AF. And a sucker. I just threw the sucker. Just threw it. Just threw it. Whoa! I didn't notice the blue. I thought it was all, I was like, oh, it looks like a peppermint. And then, surprise! Blue. Okay. Um. Ooh, it's a stencil. Oh, that's really cool. I used to play, do they glow in the dark? They look like they glow in the dark. Do you glow in the dark? I don't know, I can't tell. They just kind of look like they glow in the dark. Um. Handmade from durable plastic, washable, 
I don't know, they look like they glow in the dark. Do you glow in the dark? I really want to know. We're going to find out. I'm just putting it in the window. Do you glow in the dark? They look like they glow in the dark. Do they glow in the dark? Let's find out. I'm trying really hard. This is just really difficult. It's really hard. I don't think they glow in the dark. I don't think they do. It would have just been a bonus if they did. They just, the way that they are reflective, they just kind of look like they would. Probably not. It's all right. It's fine. Um, okay, favorite thing. I don't know. I like the bookmarks. Because I. it's like, sometimes my favorite things are the things that I need. <laughs> oh, but I need to do read the list. Journal cover. Three black notebooks. Stencils. Moon phase. Oh, washi tape. Is that how you pronounce it? Washi tape. Uh, library tape. Black, 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 purple bookmark. And candy. Yeah. So I would say, okay, favorite things. I don't know. I like the notebook. The notebook cover is really cute. I like it. Wait, I feel like there was something on the front. Oh, there is, and I covered it. I didn't even get to show you. Just hide that. It's got a little. Is it like. A cauldron. Oh, look at the little ghost. It's so cute. Sorry, I cut myself. I actually punched a cabinet. <laughs> Not intentionally. Not on purpose. Accident. Yeah, I like the notebooks and the bookmarks. I think that's. I think that's it. Um. But yeah. So according to those amazing oracle cards, I need to create more content. Maybe that's the motivation. And I need to do that. Also, it does kind of help when there is sun. Because there's something like really like, I don't know, inspiring about the sun. I don't know. Makes me feel more like alert and like upbeat and happy. But I don't look forward to when it gets hot. Like hot, hot. Because then I just get like mopey and grumpy. There's a reason why I moved away from California. We better not have another summer like last summer. We had that one day here in Oregon, well, Pacific Northwest, where it was like 115, 116. <clears throat> no thanks. No thanks. Um, anyway, I'm going to go continue painting bats. Um, if you want to follow me on all the other things, I am Lady Same Brain Everywhere on Instagram. I am on Twitter, but I don't use it a lot, but I'm there. Um, Facebook, I'm Lady Same Brain. Yeah. Well, I mostly use Instagram. I do have two different Instagrams. I have my art account, which is Lady Same Brain, and then I have my personal one, which it's not like private, but it's like, you know, more personal stuff or just like my everyday life or whatever. And that one is Annie is Crazy Today. That's been like my username since I was like 13, 14. Maybe 12. I don't know. I've had that username forever. It was my AIM name. <laughs> and my email. My AOL, When I had AOL email. Yeah, so I was like, you know, just gonna keep it forever because I am crazy. <laughs> Two days, every day. Anyway, so that's it. Uh, let me know what your favorite items are and follow Swiggy Box. I like their content on Instagram, especially. Okay, bye.